Hi, hello everyone. Welcome again to my channel, The Creative Agile IT. Uh, this video is coming after a long time, uh, so my apologies for that. And uh, I will try to be regular in uploading the new videos. So today's video is go uh, going to be on Azure DevOps series. It's part of the Azure DevOps series, and I'm going to share like in any Azure DevOps Agile Scrum project, which is using Agile process or Scrum process, how we can add cycle time or lead time metrics uh, in Azure dashboard. So we will try to understand like what's the usage of cycle time and lead time, you know, when we are working on, uh, let's say Kanban project or Agile Scrum process uh, based project. So let us start. So I'm sharing uh, uh, this sample project, Scrum project 24. And uh, if we see the project settings from the left, if I click on this one, we can see the project details like this process. The process used by this project is Agile. So now what we can do is uh, let me just give you a brief idea about uh, the boards. So we can see like there are some. Uh, these are some of the epics which are defined as part of this project and then also these some of these epics are broken down into the features. These are the list of features and also we have the list of stories as well. So we are following the structure like you know at the top level we have epics and epics are getting divided into the features and features are getting divided into the set of user stories. Now what we will do is uh, if I click on the if I bring the mouse to the overview and uh, try to navigate to the dashboards I can open it in a new tab. So uh, let me just open the this particular I will just remove it. I was trying to configure something. So this is our dashboard for this Scrum project 24 team and right now we do not have any widgets added. So what we are trying to do is we want to add the lead time and also we want to add the cycle time. So what we will do is we will click on add a widget. Uh, so we will search for lead time. So we will we have selected lead time. We can click on add and we can say this is gets added. Now try to search for the cycle time cycle time has come so we, we can click on the add uh, so now what we can do is we can just bring it uh, next to this one okay so this is how we can do the editing so we have a lead time here we have cycle time here now what we can do is we can click on done editing right so uh, what is the lead time so lead time represents uh, like uh, uh, you know how much time it took like from when the work items have been created to the completion whereas the cycle time is when the team is started working on those items when they were made active till the time of completion right I mean let's say uh, you know uh, there is a, a firm which uh, re gets the receive uh, get gets a request from the customer so the very first time the request has made so the lead time starts ticking but I mean when someone actually starts on working or fulfilling that particular request the cycle time is start uh, and, you know accounted so what we can do is we see three dots here if I click on this one so we can click on the configure so it says lead time right so we can simply say uh, let's say team lead time right and uh, so this is how you know the measures are how many width is there what is the height is there so we can always you know increase it or you can always you know um, you know based on you know whatever is, is the configuration or width and height we want for the cycle time box now what we have chosen here is we want like lead time to be calculated based on the stories in our backlog so this is what we have selected and we have selected the last period of 30 days so if I click on here, so we can see that, you know, the title has been changed and this is how it is representing. And uh, cycle time is when someone starts working on those requests, right? And then till the completion, this represents the cycle time, right? So if I click on the configure, so again here as well, we can change the title. We can say this is team cycle time. Okay, and we will keep the same width and height. And uh, again, for the cycle time, we have selected the stories in the backlog. I mean, we can choose the cycle time for the epic for the features as well, how much time it is taking for them from active till the completion. And also we have selected the last 30 days as a rolling period. So if I click on save, so this is how it is uh, showing me. 
so because this project is uh, not that frequently used it is my kind of a sandbox we can call it uh, so we can see that you know the user stories were created long time back but i mean recently yesterday i thought of you know creating this video i marked some of the stories as completed and that's why it is telling that you know it is taking like 99 plus days of time when i created the user story in this project and when they are getting completed and cycle time is you know because i marked some of the user stories as active and then today i marked them as completed so that's why it is showing the these particular user story um we can we can try with an example i mean if i go back to the previous screen and if i click on the boards here uh this is our boards and i can select the stories from here which was already there and these are the five stories which are currently marked as closed so let's say let's pick one of the story as user profile so i can you know make it active i can also make it uh, uh let's say the result and then you know maybe closed so now we have almost like six stories closed now if i again go back to the dashboard and try to refresh the page so we can see there are six stories which have been uh completed in last 30 days so it is showing like around 0.7 days and why it is showing 0.7 days because yesterday i marked some of the stories as active and today almost like six stories i have completed so that's why it is showing that less of a time and uh, why it is showing that much time for the lead time because like i have mentioned i mean we created these stories long time back and we can always check this i mean if i click on this number so it opens it in a new uh tab and we can see okay these are some of the stories uh, you know based on our click and now if i go to the column options and let's try to add a column uh, when they were uh, created so this is i have selected the created date so if i click on okay so you guys can see clearly that you, these user stories were created on 16th of jan this year and that's why it is showing that much of a lead time right and uh, uh, similarly, if I again go back to the dashboard and if I click on the cycle time for one of the charts, so it is showing these charts, right? And if I go to the column option, so I can see uh, when they were closed. So let's try to check the close date. So if I click on OK, so here we can see that you know these items are closed uh, today itself. So and based on you know this this matrix uh, definitely will tell us a lot about you know. Uh, how much is our lead time? Is it more? Is it uh, uh, obviously? I mean, the less is always okay. And how much is our cycle time? So let's say our team is working on two weeks of a sprint, but cycle time is coming around like 15 days or 20 days. So that means you know we are either working on very long uh, requirements, very large requirements, very big requirements, or we need to kind of like you know do this exercise of you know uh, slicing the user story in a shorter form so that you know the team is able to complete them within the sprint duration. So we can definitely utilize as an agile team uh, on the basis of you know what the lead time tells us about our teams working, what the cycle time tells us about our teams working. So that was kind of a brief about this video. Hope you guys liked it. And if you are new to this channel, kindly share and subscribe. That will definitely help me and motivate me. Thank you so much. Thanks for your time here. Yeah.